Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today we will talk about new Hollywood movie Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is an 2019 American epic space opera film produced to co-written and directed by J.J. Brahms. It's the third installment of the Star Wars sequel trilogy following The Force Awakens 2015 and The Last Jedi 2017 and the final episodes of the nine-part Skywalker saga. It was produced by Lucasfilm and Abrams Production Company, Bad Robot Production and was distributed by Walt Disney Studio Motion Pictures. The film assembled cast includes Carrie Fisher, Mark Hamill, Adam Drover, Dazzy Radley, John Boyaga, Oscar Isaac, Anthony Daniel, Noini, Ike, Domin Hall Gleason, Richard E. Grant, Lupita Neung, Carrie Russell, Jonas Sumoto, Kale Mary Tran, Ag Majumud, and Blady Williams. The Rise of Skywalker follows Ray, Finn, and Poe. Damiron as the lead the resistance of final stand against Kalorin and the First Order who are now aged by the return of the decayed Galactic Empire Palpatine. Following initial reports that the last Jedi director Ryan Johnson would write the script for episode 8, in August 2015, Colin Traveller was hired to direct and write a script with his collaborator Derek Connolly, both ultimately retained story credit with Abrams and Chris Tito. In September 2017, Trevor left the project following creative differences with producer Kathleen Candy and Abrams returned as director. Principal photography began in August 2018 at Pinewood Studios in England and wrapped in February 2019. Post-production was completed on 24 November 2019. With an estimated budget of $275 million, it's one of the most expensive films ever made. Principal photography began on 1 August 2018 at Pinewood Studios in Bunking, Hampshire, England. Filming also took place in Vadirum, Jordan. Oscar Lassac stated that Abraham was allowing more improvised acting than in the previous two films. Due to the tight schedule, some editing took place on set. Principal photography wrapped on 15 February 2019. Footage from the film was shown at the Walt Disney Company annual shareholder meeting on 7 March 2019. Reshoot took place at Bad Robot Production between late September and mid October. The visual effects were created by Industrial Light and Magic and supervised by Roger Gayet. The film finished first production on 25th November 2019. After Boyaka accidentally left a copy of the script in his hotel room, it was listed on eBay for around €65. Euro. A Disney employee identified the script as authentic and purchased it from the seller from an undisclosed firm. Lucasfilm honored Riley Howell, a student and Star Wars fan who horrifically died at the University of North California at college shooting in April 2019 by naming a Jedi after him in Sook's book Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, The Visual Dictionary. The book credits Riley Howell with the collecting many of the earliest accounts of exploration and codification of the Force. On 10 January 2018, it was confirmed that John Williams would return to compose and conduct The Rise of Skywalker. The next month, Williams announced that it would be the last Star Wars film for the which he would compose the score. In August 2019, it was revealed that Williams had written about 35 of and expected 135 months of music for the film, which, according to Williams' brothers, Don would incorporate all of the major themes of the Skywalker saga. Scoring began in July 2019 with William and William Rose conducting the artist starting the sessions over the course of six months. Walt Disney Records released the soundtrack album digitally on 18 December 2019 with the physical release following on 20 December. The film was originally planned to be released on 24 May 2019 in the United States before being pushed back to December 20, giving the original release date to Disney live action adoption of Aladdin. It had its world premiere in Los Angeles on 16 December. Unlike most studio films, Disney reportedly didn't hold the test screens for The Rise of Skywalker, instead only showing it to Abraham friends and family as well as a terminally ill fan. A shot near the end of the film featuring two film resistance member kissing was cut in the way and Singapore. Disney issued a warning that the scenes with the stroke-like flashing lights may be triggered positive sensitive migraines and soldiers during some of those scenes. 
Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker grossed $515.2 million in the United States and Canada and $558.9 million in other territories for a worldwide total of $1.074 billion. Deadline Hollywood calculated the net profit of the film to be $300 million when the factoring together all expenses and revenues. Our goal to introduce you every Hollywood movie and English TV series. For more updates, please subscribe my channel and press the bell button. Be sure to express your opinion in the comment below and let us know how you like our videos. Share our channel and thumbs up on our videos. If you have liked this informative video, then press the below like button and encourage us. Thanks for watching.